In my last What Sold video, I talked to you about the things that sold in a week where at the very end of it, I was gone on a trip. In this week's What Sold video, I'm gonna be talking to you about, obviously, this past week where I was on my trip for the first half of the week and came back late Wednesday night. So really, I only had Thursday, Friday, Saturday to do any reselling tasks. And with that being said, I feel like I still had a pretty decent week. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body candles by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, although I have not sold anything on there in what feels like years, Facebook Marketplace, etc, etc. Although in this What Sold video, I only had three platforms that I sold on and they are my main three platforms. It's kind of to the point where I feel like, should I just stop cross-listing to other platforms in general because is it even worth my time? That being said, I did have a pretty decent week despite the fact that I was out of town Sunday through Wednesday, and it's because of the fact that I did a lot more in terms of preparing my reselling business for my absence. And I do have a video where I talk about some steps that you can take to make sure that you don't lose any momentum in your reselling business, even if you are going on a trip. And I will link that video right here. But we are going to talk about the sales that I had on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And when I talk about reselling, what I mean is that I personally like to resell clothing and I will try to find used or even new sometimes clothing at places like thrift stores, consignment stores, really anywhere that I can't from my own house, from like friends and family who who would just want to give me clothes that they're no longer wearing. Um, and I try to sell them online for as much as possible. And it's a really great side hustle, a really great way to make money from home. And so that's what my channel is all about. If that sounds interesting to you, if you want to learn how to make a little side income as well, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button and if you want to hear what sold for me in the week of July 5th through the 11th then hit that like button and let's get into it so starting with Monday which was July 5th I was still in New York I was having you know listings go live every day and whatnot I only had one sale and I was okay with it it was on Poshmark and it was this pair of Chico's so slimming white ankle high-rise pants in a size 6 I had these listed I believe for 18 because there were a couple marks on the pants I don't even know why I bother picking up white items, to be honest with you, especially white pants. I feel like they always have stains, but I still listed them, you know, for 18. I picked it up at a local consignment store where, you know, last year around this time, I was able to go in and shop in bulk. And because of the fact that I purchased like over a thousand pieces, um, they gave me a really great deal. And I paid about 80 cents per, um, like clothing item and so I had about 80 cents into this I got an offer of $15 on the item and I went ahead and accepted it because that's pretty amazing so after my cost of goods and after Poshmark fees I made a profit of $11.20 and excuse me while I respond to a notification that I just saw on my Facebook um, regarding a local sales hold on we are uh, doing like a deep clean of our house because we're having a garage sale this weekend. And I found this uh, like bottle sterilizer that I used to use and I got it cleaned up and I figured, you know, I'd try selling it on Facebook Marketplace first because you can typically get more for that kind of stuff um, if you sell it through a reselling platform like that versus like a garage sale where people are expecting garage sale prices. So I already have two people who are interested and I'm just kind of going back and forth with them. So hopefully we get it sold today, which would be really exciting because I just listed it, you know, a couple hours ago. Anyways, um, yeah, that was it for Monday the 5th. So moving on to Tuesday, which was July 6th, I had a couple eBay sales. The first one was this new with tags Peruvian Connection, which is a wonderful brand that I love picking up. Um, it was this bell lace open knit pullover sweater in a size extra large. Peruvian Connection is known more for like their wool pieces. They have a lot of pieces made out of like alpaca and stuff like that. I wasn't sure how this would do because obviously it wasn't wool. It was just cotton. Um, but it was new with tags and my cost of goods was $8.20. That was my average cost of goods that day. So I figured I'd take a chance on it and I'm glad I did because it sold for $42.90 on eBay. That was via an offer that I sent out to watchers and it sold pretty quick. Like I want to say in under a week, it was promoted at 1%. I did have them pay for shipping. And so after, you know, even promoted fees, eBay fees, all that good stuff, my cost of goods, I still made a profit of $31.12. And hold on, because I think this person is getting back to me about this item. So. 
The next item to sell was this pair of Talbot's Chatham, Chatham, I don't know, ankle high rise floral pants in a size 14 petite. This sold for $19.90. Again, that was an offer that I sent out to watchers. Just so you know, if I send out offers to watchers, I always have an end in 90 cents. And that way I know that the sale was made through offers to watchers. Sometimes it's hard to keep track and you know, it just helps me jog my memory. So that's why sometimes things are ending in 90 cents. Um, that was also promoted at 1%. They paid for shipping. I got it at that local consignment store for under a dollar. So my profit on those pants was $16.83. Y'all know I love selling selling Talbots. I love selling Chico's, even though they're not necessarily the kind of stuff that I'm wearing. I have a really wonderful time selling those brands. They're great bread and butter brands, especially on platforms like eBay. Moving on to Wednesday, which was July 7th on Poshmark. I sold this free people embroidered sleeveless mini dress in a size extra small. Um, I picked this up at a pop-up consignment sale, the same place where I got that Peruvian connection sweater. My cost of goods was $8 and 20 cents. It sold for $34 with a shipping discount of $2.46. And so I made a profit of $16.54. By the way, this was the very first time that I ever tried out any of Poshmark's bulk, bulk, like tools bulk what do you want to call them like you can do bulk sharing you can do bulk offers to likers you can drop prices on items in your closet in bulk i just hadn't tried using the feature at all because i didn't have a reason to um i personally don't share my closet i know some people ask me i do have a va that i have share my closet for me and i've been using you know the va for some time i've heard from people that they're not huge fans of the bulk sharing because it's still pretty time consuming to sit there and like click on all of your items and a lot of people say that it like freezes when they're doing that same with the bulk um, offers to likers and I don't know but I personally did try sending offers to likers when I was on my way back from New York um, on everything in my closet and it only let me do it on like I want to say like three to five hundred items I don't remember exactly because those were the only items that had you know likes on them and out of that I got like three or four sales, this being one of them. So it was not super successful, but a lot of that is also because, you know, the week before, I think I had been sending out offers to likers on a daily basis, which normally I don't do. But again, it was just something that I was doing to try to drum up sales because it's summer slowdown and because I knew that I was going on vacation. So I was happy about that sale. My profit on that dress was $16.54. And you'll see a couple more sales that were a result of, you know, that mass offers to likers thing that I did using Poshmark's bulk features. The next two sales were over on eBay. The first one was this Madewell white linen v-neck t-shirt in a size extra small. Super basic. I did pick it up at that local consignment store for under a dollar and when I got it home under the lights I realized that there were a few flaws you know around the neckline again with white why do i bother and so I listed it really low. I think I listed it for like 9.99. It actually sold on Mercari maybe a week or two ago. And then a few hours after the sale happened, the person canceled their transaction. And so thankfully I hadn't deleted it from my other platforms yet. And it did sell on eBay just a few days later via offers to watchers for $7.90. They paid for shipping after fees and my cost of goods. I still made $6.42 off of a super basic t-shirt. I know a lot of people are not in the business of listing things like this, but I like $6.42. I can do a lot with that. So there you go. The next sale was pretty exciting. It was this St. John collection pair of lavender Santana knit wool blend pull on pants in a size two. They were gorgeous and I sent them into thread up. They did not sell over there. So I got them sent back to me. I sold them for my full asking price of $59.99 with them paying for shipping. My cost of goods was about $10 at a local consignment store. They have really great sales where, you know, just kind of like Goodwill or any other thrift store, they have color tags and a certain color tag of the week will go on sale for like 75% off or something like that. And although this consignment store has a lot of really great, like, you know, luxury brands or just like higher end brands, there aren't that many people in my town that I feel like who are wearing these kinds of brands. And so, you know, they're usually left for that 75% off sale. So I'm able to pick them off at a very steep discount. And like I said, I had about $10 into these. And so my profit was $43.22. Moving on to Thursday, which was July 8th. This is when I had a couple more sales as a result of um, sending out offers in bulk using that Poshmark bulk feature. Um, the first one was this pair of Van Houston Traveler non-iron black 
black dress pants in a size 40. These sold for $29 with this kind of shipping of $2.46. I believe these came to me in a men's startup rescue box a while ago, so I probably have about $3 into them. So my profit on those pants was $17.74. 74 cents. 74 cents. 74 cents. Van Heusen is not a brand that I'm like actively seeking out to pick up, but they performed pretty well for me. $29. That's not bad. The next thing to sell was this Polo Ralph Lauren purple and white striped t-shirt in a size 2T. This was something that I think both my daughter and son wore. I sold it for $10 with $2.46 discounted shipping on Poshmark. And so I made a profit of $4.59. Again, it's not a lot, but I find a lot of joy in selling my kids old clothes. I just love knowing that they're going to go to a new home. So I'm $4.59 richer and someone has a really cute t-shirt in their wardrobe. The next thing to sell was this pair of Merrill Mimics. That was the style name. Meld slip on ballet flats in a size six and a half. I picked these up at a local consignment store for $4.86. They sold for $18 and so my profit on them was $9.54. These I thought would, you know, get me a little bit more, but sometimes Merrill does really well and sometimes it's just, meh. it's not worth like a ton. It doesn't retail for a ton depending on the style. And this I think was just a little too basic to get me more than, you know, $20. And then over on eBay, I had another Merrill sale and this was a lot better. And I think it's because it was new. So it was this new without the box Merrill arabesque leather ebony zipper shoes in a size seven. These I got $50 for, I think I had them listed for eBay even higher, like maybe 60 or 70, but someone offered me 50 and I accepted. They paid for shipping. I had $5 into those. I picked them up at a garage sale not too long ago. And so my profit on those was $39.22. And then the last thing to sell on eBay this day was this new Skip Hop Dunk Duck Stacking Bath Toys. It sold for $9 with free shipping. And so I made a whopping profit of $3.57, but I did get that for free from a friend at church. So it was pure profit. It. Um, I do feel like this kind of stuff sells really well and really quickly. Like I only had that listed for a couple days. And so I do like to mix that kind of stuff in, even if I'm not going to be making a ton of money, because I know people are looking for this kind of stuff. And hopefully it just brings more traffic to my closet and, you know, kind of triggers the algorithm in my favor. Moving on to Friday, which was July 9th. This was a pretty good day for me over on Poshmark. I sold this pair of Express Editor beige dress pants in a size 6R. They sold for $25 and I had 80 cents into them because they were from that consignment store. I had these listed for just a handful of weeks, not very long at all. And someone ended up just you know, purchasing it outright at my full asking price. So I made a profit of $19.20. If you watched my what sold video from last week, and I'll link that video right here, um, I sold another pair of Express Editor pants that week. Um, you know, it wasn't for as much. I think I only got like $14 for them, but career pieces are selling. I will just keep saying that until it stops being true, but I have noticed that career pieces are selling very well. So if you have any at home that are unlisted, go ahead and get them listed. The next thing to sell was this Chico's purple crinkle lightweight jacket in a size 12. I don't really know what I was thinking when I picked this up. I did get it at that local consignment store for under a dollar, but I don't know why I thought I needed this in my life. But anyway, it did sell for $20 using my closet clear out method, which was great. I'm happy that it sold. And it only was listed for like a month or two, which again, great. So I made a profit of $15.20. It just goes to show that there is a buyer for everything. Sometimes you have to wait for the right buyer, but sometimes the buyer is there and they're just waiting for you to list your things. So if you've got something at home that you're like, who's going to want this? list it. Someone wants it and you got to give them the opportunity to find it in your closet. So there you go. The next thing to sell was by LC Lauren Conrad. It was this long sleeve black floral dress in a size extra large. It was really sweet. Um, you know, typically I don't pick up this brand. I know it's sold at Kohl's and it just doesn't retail for a ton. Um, Lauren Conrad, that's Laguna Beach. I think so. I said it wrong once and um, Jess from JS Thrifts and Flips like was like, how do you not know? <laughs> you know? I know who she is. I just never watched that show. I always get Laguna Beach and 
Ugh, the one with Misha Barton confused. I don't know. Anyway, um, that girl, uh, she, you know, has this clothing line at Kohl's and it's pretty cute. Like she comes out with really trendy things at a lower price point, which is great because, you know, people want to access trends at, you know, varying price ranges. And like I said, I typically don't pick up this brand because I just don't feel like it's one that you can expect to make a lot of money off of but someone sent me a 15 dollars offer and i think i only had it listed for a couple weeks so that was a pretty quick flip i don't know why but i don't know what my cost of goods was on this and i don't remember where i picked it up i want to say i have probably like four dollars into it let's say so my profit on this dress ended up being eight dollars the next thing to sell was a bundle of two identical pairs of shoes just in different colors so they were by the brand ams um, i had the same shoe sell last week as well i think ams is like a boutique brand or like a wholesale brand not quite sure but it was this black bow pointed toe slide on mules in a size five and a half and then another identical pair just in a beige color again in a five and a half you know i have one or two more pairs of these shoes left in varying colors um and i did have them listed for quite some time and then they just started selling i do feel like these are perfect for you know the office perfect if you're a student they're like the most lightweight shoes i have ever uh held in my hand like they're just super lightweight um and yeah they're just they're just really cute they're very trendy they're not like made of like the most highest quality you know materials or anything like that but, you know when you're buying stuff that's trendy you kind of assume that you won't wear it for that many seasons anyway so um she liked both items i can't remember if she had them in a bundle already but if not i went ahead and put them in a bundle for her and i sent her an offer of 25 dollars. my cost of goods for both pairs of shoes was three dollars and 62 cents so after fees and cost of goods i made a profit of 16 dollars and 38 cents and those did come from a local consignment store that I visited a few months ago. Also, if you're curious about how to make more Poshmark bundle sales, I do have a video about that that I made, I don't know, maybe almost a year ago, but I'll go ahead and link it here. Um, it's a video that people have been finding more recently and commenting that it was really helpful. So hopefully, you know, if you wanted to learn about how to bundle people's likes, for example, that video explains how to do it. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description too. And then on eBay, I sold this Cardinals MLB Genuine merchandise full zip jacket in a size large i remember picking this up at a goodwill just kind of thinking that you know these kinds of like sports team jackets or shirts or jerseys things of that nature they can do really well because people are so loyal to their sports team um i live in central illinois and i would say it's split down the middle like half of the people who live here root for the st louis cardinals and half the people who live here root for the chicago cubs and there's like a sprinkling of people who also support like the white socks or something so it's interesting because you get a lot of different mlb apparel in this area this i picked up probably for around eight dollars at that goodwill at that time i wasn't really keeping track of my cost of goods but i think that's probably close to accurate um i got an offer on this of 35 dollars, which i went ahead and accepted because i've had this for over a year and i was so excited that someone finally wanted it <laughs> after they paid for shipping and after my cost of goods i made a profit of 22 dollars 72 the next thing to sell on eBay was this new without the box pair of fry brown leather ivy slip on shoes in the color cognac. Now on this day, I did have a 20% sale going, you know, again, just as a way to really pick things up in my eBay store because I had been on my trip and I just want to like kick my eBay store in the butt a little bit. So someone bought these outright at my 20% discount of $63.99. They paid for shipping. Um, I had $10.22 into them. I picked them up at a pop-up consignment sale that we had going on and so I made a profit of $46.60. I don't know. I mean, I've found fry once at a thrift store, but they were so trashed that I couldn't pick them up. Like no one would want them in that condition. Um, I don't think I've ever found fry other than that. So I was really excited to pick these up and they were such a classic, like everyday shoe. I knew that they would probably sell pretty quick and they did. The next thing to sell was this Gymboree floral sleeveless tie sleeve. Like the straps were like, you like tie them up here. It was really cute. Like a little maxi dress in a size large. This sold for my full asking price. Again, you know, 20% off of $15.99. It was promoted at 1%. I had them pay for shipping. And so I made a profit of $13.68. We did get that for free from someone at church who will just give me stuff when she cleans out her closet, her kids' closets, her husband's closet. And it's wonderful because um, there's a lot of really great stuff in there. A lot of stuff that maybe I 
wouldn't pick up if I were at the thrift store, but at the cost of goods of free, like it's worth it. It's worth it to list it and make some money off of it. And then I had a Mercari sale this day as well. Speaking of the St. Louis Cardinals on Mercari, I sold this Nike Chicago Cubs slim fit baseball tee in a size large. This sold for $15, which was, you know, the price that I had it dropped to at that point using smart pricing on Mercari. And so my profit on that item was $12.76 because the same friend who gave me this shirt gave me that Jimber Reed dress. Um, I remember my husband was photographing this while my friend was over and she was like watching him photograph it and she's like, oh, that's really cute because she's a Cubs fan, but it wasn't her size. So, you know, she ended up letting us list it. And this was only listed for a handful of days before I made the sale. And this was only listed for a handful of days before it sold. So, you know, I love myself a quick flip. And then moving on to Saturday, which was July 10th, I had one Poshmark sale. Um, it was this paper crane floral ruffled faux wrap v-neck top in a size medium. Honestly, it was pretty cute paper crane. I don't remember exactly where it sold. Um, it's not really worth a ton, and but I had gotten it for free from that same friend who gave me the Jamboree dress and the Cubs shirt. And so I went ahead and listed it. It sold within three days of being listed for $10, which again, I'm fine with because that's $7.05 of pure profit and all of that adds up and then on eBay I sold this pair of Ms. Moos this was my first time picking up this brand leopard print Laurent that was like the style name high top slip on sneakers in a size 40 these sold for $60 that was the offer sent to me which I obviously accepted they paid for shipping I had eight dollars and twenty cents into them because they were from that um, local consignment pop-up sale that happened not too long ago and I'll link that haul right here because I've been mentioning that haul a lot as you know I've been selling through a lot of those pieces so if you want to see what those items were that I had picked up that you know are selling through really quickly that would be a great haul to watch so I made a profit on those shoes of forty four dollars and eighty cents and like I said that was my first time picking up that brand and as a result of that haul video actually I sold another pair of Ms. Moose shoes that I picked up just directly to a viewer so I do think it's a pretty great brand if you are able to pick them up for a good price um the other ones I think I sold for like 40 or 50 dollars as well so definitely a brand to be on the lookout for in my humble opinion the next thing to sell was this the limited yellow floral lace-up blouse in a size small petite this sold as a result of my 20 percent off sale so it sold for 14 dollars and 39 cents with free shipping I have had this for so long. <laughs> like, while I do stand by my statement that career pieces are selling, and obviously this is a testament to that as well, that doesn't mean that I think you should go out to, you know, your local Goodwill and just start buying all the career pieces that you see regardless of how much they're priced at. You have to be really strategic and you have to know what the good brands are. The Limited is a mall brand. It doesn't retail for that much to begin with. So, you know, if you find the Limited at your local Goodwill or something, don't pay up for it or anything like that. I honestly wouldn't pick up the Limited and, you know, would only list it if I got something cute for free. But, you know, this I picked up in my earlier days of reselling. I just thought it was a really cute blouse. I like the colors. And it did finally sell for, you know, like I said, $14.39. Um, but after the free shipping and after my cost of goods and all that stuff, I only made a profit of $5.64, which is nothing to sneeze at. Like I love an additional $5.64 in my bank account, but I'm just saying be careful when you're out there picking up career brands. If you do want to carry more career pieces in your closet, you want to look out more for brands like M.M. Lafleur or even Everlane sometimes has like very classic pieces that you could wear. Um, you know, to the office. So it's just good to know which brands you should be on the lookout for if you are looking specifically for career type pieces. Um, let's see, the next thing to sell, you know, last week I didn't have a cool sale, but I did have one this week, it looks like, which is great. But I did have one this week, so woohoo. It was this pair of New With Tags Cool Shadow Spire Roll-Up Convertible Pants in a size 20W, so, you know, plus size, which is great. It sold for $49.90. I had $14.99 into them. I did a big retail arbitrage buy of cool pieces that were New With Tags. And I did have someone ask in a comment not too long ago if women's cool sells as well for me as men's cool. And I would say, um, 
certain pieces do, you know, and they sell for like a similar amount. These are maybe a little bit less than what I traditionally, you know, get for my new with tags cool bottoms. But regardless, I thought it was still a good sale. I made a profit of $27.92. So I was really happy with that. And then on Sunday, which was July 11th, I had one Poshmark sale and it was a result of my closet clear out method, which if you don't know how to utilize closet clear out, you know, which is one of Poshmark's main like promotional things to help you make sales. I do have a video on it that I can link right here and I'll link it down in the description as well. Um, it's something that I do every Friday and Sunday, which are the traditional closet clear out days. And that's how I get a good number of my sales every week. So definitely check out that video if you're curious, but it was this pair of big star live skinny low rise jeans in a size 24. So it was a smaller size and they were low rise, but I still got $40 from them. I had them originally priced at 50, but used my closet clear out method to see if they'd be comfortable with the $40 price tag because, you know, Poshmark would then throw in discounted shipping. They said yes. So I made a profit of $31.20 which I was pretty excited about. And I had less than a dollar into those because they came from that consignment store that I shopped in bulk at from last year. And then on eBay, I sold this Anthropology Tiny, that was the brand, green pleated long sleeve mixed print dress in a size medium. This I picked up at that pop-up consignment sale that I talked about earlier, that I got like the Ms. Moose shoes from, and that I got, you know, some of these other pieces from. It sold for my full asking price of $27.99. Again, that was with a 20% discount. They paid for shipping. I had $8.20 into it as my average cost of goods for that trip. And so I made a profit on on that dress of $18.01 and it sold pretty quick. It sold like within two weeks of being listed. And then the next thing to sell was this exclusively Missook woman black and purple full zip up jacket in a size 1X. Exclusively Missook is such an interesting brand. I don't really get it yet, but it does okay. I mean, yeah, it's just a super interesting brand. Also, the lighting is so weird right now. I apologize. It's been like raining all day and I feel like there's this weird light coming in from my skylight. Anyway, I've been going off on a lot of tangents today. I apologize. Yeah, I don't get this brand. It is pretty expensive and some people are really crazy about it and I, I don't understand it. Regardless, this did have some flaws on it. It had some marks on it that my husband noted while he was photographing it. Um, and because of that, I just went ahead and lowered the price. It did have a watcher and it was also, you know, part of my 20% off sale. So I just went ahead and sent an additional offer that was even lower than my 20 person off sale of $21.90, which someone accepted. They paid for shipping. I had 80 cents into this because it did come from that local consignment store and it did go to thread up. They weren't able to sell it. And then it came back to me. And I'm kind of glad because I feel like at thread up, they must not have seen the stains that my husband saw while he was photographing it. And I feel like, you know, this item would have been like returned if it did sell on thread up and it just would have gone on an unnecessary journey. So I ended up making a profit of $18 and 13 cents on that jacket. The next thing to sell was this new with tags, a Duluth trading company, fire hose insulated vest in a size extra small. And this did have like that 3M insulation technology. I got this in a men's thread up rescue box many, many months ago. It's not a men's piece. It's a women's piece, but it was new with tags. It was a great item. So I just went ahead and kept it and list it. It did take a while to sell, like at least half a year. And I did have it listed for, I want to say like $75, but someone sent me an offer of 49, which I just went ahead and accepted after they paid for shipping. And after my $3 cost of goods, which was the average cost of good for each item in that box, I still made a profit of $40 and 11 cents. So I was pretty happy about that. And then finally, I had one more Mercari sale and it was this pair of laundry by Shelly Seagal, hexagon printed pants in a size eight. Again, kind of a more career piece. Um, they sold for $14. I had 80 cents into them because they were from that bulk consignment sale uh, experience. And so I made a profit of $11.09. Those were my sales for the week. They weren't like amazing, but I did have a lot more like bigger ticket items go out the door. So much so that in fact on eBay, my ASP, my average sales price was $35.19, which is unheard of for me because you know, I'm over here selling things and making like $3 here, $7 here sometimes. So to have an average sales price of $35.19, that's pretty cool. So on Poshmark, I sold 12 items for a gross sales amount of $241 
$21. Once you factor in, you know, some of the discounted shipping that I did and Poshmark fees, that total drops to $178.66. My cost of goods for those 12 items was $26.88. And so my net profit on Poshmark was $151.78. And when I say net profit, I'm talking about the amount that actually makes its way into my bank account. And then on eBay, I actually sold 15 items, which is three more items than Poshmark. And I had a gross sales amount of $527.85, which is a ton more than, you know, $241, like more than double the amount that I made on Poshmark, which is because my bigger ticket items were primarily over on eBay. And I know a lot of people who sell on both eBay and Poshmark, they tend to say that their higher priced items sell on eBay. And I'm hoping that this trend continues for me. So once you factor in some shipping costs and eBay fees and promoted fees, that total drops to $460.20. My cost of goods for those 15 items was $82.20. And, 21 cents. and so my net profit, the amount actually making its way into my bank account was $377.99 from eBay. I only had two Mercari sales for a gross sales amount of $29. The amount earned after fees was $24.65. I only had 80 cents into those two items. And so my net profit was $23.85. I did not make sales on Shopify, Kitizen, Facebook Marketplace, or directly, those were my only sales. So in total, I sold 29 items, which was one less than last week. And I had a gross sales number of $797.85. Once you factor in fees and shipping, that total drops to $663.51. My cost of goods for those 29 items was $109.89. And so my net profit on everything was $553.62. This is my most like all over the place video, but I had to stop because the person came to pick up the sterilizer thing. So I am $25 richer and I got that thing out of my house. It was a big bulky thing. So super happy about that. And you'll hear more about that sale in next week's video. And so my actual net profit came out to $553.62. That is one item less, like I said, than what I sold last week, but like more than $200 more. So, you know, that just goes to show like if you are able to find and list higher priced items, obviously you're going to make more money for a little bit less effort. And that's always what we're out here trying to do. Um, it just depends on what your access looks like. If you have access to better brands that you can price higher and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to acquire those pieces, that's amazing. And that's obviously what the goal should be is to acquire those kinds of pieces. But you know, because of my business model, which is like pretty limited sourcing, I get a lot of stuff for free, like a a lot of the stuff that I have listed is stuff that just makes its way to my house, you know, via friends and family. Um, I, you know, don't have to take any time to go out and find those pieces. I'm okay with listing them and making small profits here and there. And when I do go out and source, I do try to focus on finding those higher end items that are going to bring in some more money. So you can see from my sales that it's a healthy mix of the two, I believe. And I think that by having a variety of price points and a variety of brands in your closet in your eBay store it allows a variety of people to come and shop your different reselling platforms which I think is really helpful and important so um, not everyone is gonna agree everyone runs their business super differently which is part of the beauty of you know being a reseller is you get to call the shots you get to be your own boss and make your own decisions and I love that I'm gonna get back to getting ready for my garage sale which if you want to see a video about that that should be coming out next week because the garage sale is happening this weekend so you know we're gonna keep just going through our entire house and seeing what items need to go and I will see you guys later bye